Flip? Yeah, I'm just gonna roll. Alright. Hi, my name is XXX. My name is Ski Mask, the slump. God. I have, <laughs> I have a skinny dick. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey. Honestly, I didn't know what to make of Jose at first. I met him in juvenile jail. I was at least 16. I think he was younger than me at the time. He told me his charges, and I was like, this nigga's in here for armed robbery? <laughs> for, for home invasion? So I'm like, okay. What really connected us was we would be beatboxed, like making beats on the table, on the chairs and shit, and we would just be freestyling. We would just like feed off of each other. We both were the big brother and little brother at the same time to each other. We didn't even know what we wanted to do at the time. We just know we wanted to make a stand for who we are and just be ourselves, say fuck it, like no matter the consequences. At that point, we were like, we don't really want a job. And if we need a job and the job doesn't want us because we have face tats, then that's not the job we would really want for ourselves or some shit. Like, fuck it, we're, this is what we're doing. Real piece of shit. Dirty piece of shit. Dirty. Back then, we were stealing shit. Well, I was. Uh, I was stealing cough syrup and selling it. Uh, we were just having a lot of jugs, really, back then. And we found a lot of ways to make money, but because our parents wasn't helping us with nothing, really, because they just thought we were fucking horrible kids at the time. I remember Cleo's mom picking me and Jose up one day, and this is the first time I meet the lady. And she says, why are you hanging out with him? He's a bad kid. <laughs> this is what she tells me. He's a bad kid. Why are you, come, why are you chilling with this boy? <laughs> I feel like a lot of times Jose did feel like even his family didn't really like him at that point. He didn't understand how his family treated him. Like he was just this bad child. But if you think in Ja's mind back then, Ja didn't think that he was just this bad child trying to rebel. Ja thinks he's just being Ja. You know what I mean? Like I'm just being me and niggas hate me. And I hate myself because niggas hate me and I need to change myself, basically. I've seen him literally choose to sleep on the streets more times than go home. He didn't explain it to me all the time, but I just knew he even felt better sleeping with me in the car. When he left home, he left home. Nobody kicked him out. And it was as a result of him not wanting to follow the rules or not follow curfew or just doing whatever he wanted to do. And then he just stopped going to school. He just was like, yeah, I'm good. I don't even know why we wanted a group at the time, but I was like, nah, we gotta make a group of some kind. And I was like, very rare. And me and Ja rolled that shit out till the wheels fell off. And then um, out of nowhere, Ja wanted to make his own group too. And that was members only. <laughs> 